Hey everyone, John Rettinger here with an overview and walkthrough for you of the new 5th generation iPod Nano, also known as the Nano with a video camera. So this is the product red 8GB version. It also comes in 16GB flavors and a ton of different colors. So before I get into some of the music and the things that you may have seen on previous iPods, let me go right to the main attraction on this, and that is the video recorder. So we'll go right down to video camera, get a new option there, and you get some of the video that you've taken, and sort of clips show up right down below, so you can see I was playing around with some of the effects. I'll go ahead and show you what this looks like. So it loads and launches up, very similar to what you'd find now on the iPhone 3GS. Pick it up. And it does make use of the accelerometer, so I've got a coffee cup right there, you can see me start recording. To record, you just hit the home button, and you'll see that zero starts counting, so we're recording live right now. And you just simply record. One thing I should notice, and should mention to you, is that the camera lens is right on the back, and it seems to be where you're always putting your fingers, whether you have it facing up this way, or you turn it the other direction, it seems to be your finger always gets right in the way. I would have perhaps preferred it right in the middle, but it's not too bad, but something to uh, make note of. So let me go ahead and turn this off. So I stopped that recording. One of the really cool features that I didn't necessarily expect with the iPod Nano are some of the great effects that they have. Now unfortunately you can only access these effects before you start recording. You can't make transitions as you're going, but there are a lot of really cool ones. So let me show you what they are. To access them, you just hold down the home button, and you get a whole list of them here. And Let me go ahead and walk you through what they are move the camera up and I'll go to a little bit of a black background so you can see. You've got sepia. See, and right now my finger is right over the lens. I need to go ahead and move my hand. Sepia, normal, black and white, x-ray. Keep scrolling down. You get film grain, thermal, security cam, cyborg, and I'll show you what some of these look like. Bulge, kaleido, motion blur, mirror, some of the things that maybe you're familiar with from photo booth. Light tunnel, dent, stretch, twirl, and I believe that is it. So let me give you a quick demonstration of what some of these look like. You may have seen the cyborg one in my quality overview. Let's pick thermal, for example. Let's see what thermal looks like. Go ahead and select it. And now I can start recording in thermal if I'd like to. And I can turn it and use the accelerometer and start recording. Looks pretty neat. See the heat? See the heater from my hand comes off. It's blue, I think it's supposed to be red. Either I'm dead, possibly zombified, or uh, it's not really a heat sensor, just sort of put some colors behind things. Let's take a look at some of the other ones. Let's check out Security Cam. I'm sure we've all been caught doing something bad on Security Cam, but now you can catch your friends. That sort of gives you that grainy look. You can expect to see someone sort of try and grab an ATM machine and run out of the store. It flickers a little bit to give it sort of an older vibe to it. So that is the video recorder and how that works. Now this does not have Wi-Fi built in. So the only way to get the video off is when you sync your iPod, you can pull the video off of it. And actually, one cool thing that Apple has included is when you plug your iPod into your computer, your device now shows up almost as a drive. You can go right in there and pull out the files, put them on your desktop and upload them to YouTube or whatever else you want to do. So let me go ahead and close out of there. And if you want to see the quality of the video, check out a previous uh, video that I did that shows the quality of it. And stay tuned to, for the channel. I'll be doing some comparisons with other popular video cameras, no, most notably the iPhone 3GS. So those videos are archived by date. And you can go ahead and view the ones that uh, were recorded. It, look, it looks like the date is... Uh... So you can go ahead and play it back. And speaking of playback... This also has a built-in speaker, which is actually right there in the 30-pin connector. You can't even see it. So let me show you what that sounds like. And I'll play back one of the videos that actually I recorded. So we'll play back. Take this one. It's 30 seconds long. And you'll be able to hear me talking. I can turn it for playback. Use the accelerometer. Go ahead and hit play. And you can adjust the volume using the scroll wheel. It actually sounds pretty good. Let me show you what that sounds like with some music. So you don't have to hear me all the time. So I'll go back up 
to music. And just like previous generation iPod Nanos, this has an accelerometer so you can scroll through via cover flow. So I'm in Green Day here. I'll just pick a song very quickly so I don't get into any copyright issues. And um, start playing. And that's with the speaker all the way up. It's very loud. So just a quick sample of how the speaker sounds on the new iPod now. And I can tell you that it's very loud and certainly easy enough to listen to if you're cleaning up your kitchen or whatever, you just want to hear some music, you don't have your headphones, not a problem. So speaking of headphones, you actually need them for something other than listening to music. And you need the ones that come with the Nano. So let me show you why that is. So get out of music. This now has a built-in radio, which is quite neat. So go ahead and select the radio. And now it's telling me no radio signal. Please plug in headphones for radio connection. So go ahead and plug the headphones in. We've got them handy right here. All right, so that is plugged in. And now I've got a full FM radio transmitter. It's actually not bad. So you can go through and you can find, scroll through manually, you can sort of scan. And that does not come through the speaker, it'll just come through the headphones. But the reception does seem to be quite good. And you can see I've got the volume all the way up from the headphones, and you can still sort of hear it. Alright, so enough of the radio, it works, it's a radio. People have been asking for this for quite a long time. It's nice when you go to the gym, or you just want to listen to whatever terrestrial radio station that you like, and terrestrial as opposed to uh, satellite radio. Now one thing I should notice, you can actually live pause radio stations while you're using this, which is actually quite neat, and so you can almost give yourself a little bit of a buffer. So if you know there's going to be a commercial coming up, hit pause, go to the bathroom, drop a deuce, come back a few minutes later, and you can skip your commercials. So let's keep moving along with some of the other features that are in here. Let's go to extras and voice memos. This has a built-in microphone and the voice recorder looks very similar to that's found on the iPhone and takes advantage of the built-in microphone. I can just start talking. You can see that little needle right there is moving as I'm yelling at it, yelling at the Nano. And you just hit record and it archives them just as you would expect as it did the videos by date. So we'll go back. It also has a pedometer and a few other cool features that you found on sort of some previous other nanos, but the pedometer is uh, most notably one of the new features. So there's your pedometer. You can go in and sort of set it. Just go in and set your weight and set some information about yourself. You can go ahead and check out some of the settings. Weight, daily step control, screen orientation, and uh, your history. Now it's very, <laughs> it's very interesting now. The nano used to be known for just doing music but now it really does so many more, and music doesn't seem like an afterthought, but it just does everything so well. It does music fantastically. It's now a very capable video recorder. It's for voice recording. You can use it for radio. It just does so much right now. So I'm very impressed with the Nano. It's actually the first Nano that I've ever owned. I never had a need for one before, so I'm just quite impressed with it, and um, so far I can uh, definitely recommend it. So for exclusive content, be sure to check out my Twitter page at twitter.com slash john 4 lakers and to learn more about Techno Buffalo, check out technobuffalo.com, which is launching this Tuesday, September 15th. If you're watching this after that, go to the site for all of your tech news, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.